Welcome to Personal Mastery Training. I'm your host, Alvin Brown, former world-class athlete turned entrepreneur and consultant. Join us as we learn from guests who have conquered their inner battles and share their journeys to success. Get ready for inspirational masterclasses and thought-provoking strategy sessions to fuel your path to personal mastery. Let's dive in. All right, so today let's talk about the winning attitude. The winning attitude. I was going back and reviewing a game, an interview, Giannis Attentacompo. He plays for the Milwaukee Bucks. And it was the end of the season, and he fell short of his goal. And obviously, the team wanted to go to the NBA championships. But it's sports. It's not a movie. You don't always make it. But they made it all the way to the playoffs. So the reporter asks him, Giannis, do you think it was a losing season? And he, out of frustration, he answered it brilliantly. It was all over the internet but I want to bring it back to my community. He said, listen, do you get a raise every year, a promotion every year? Does it happen to you every year? No. He said, Michael Jordan played for nine seasons and he won six championships. Did he have a losing career? No. He said every loss was another opportunity to get closer. And I thought that was brilliant. And so did millions of other people, obviously. The winning attitude. See, that reporter, and he said on that interview, Eric, you asked me this last year. Same question again. See, that reporter, other than trying to get some clickbait material and some traction, he's trying to get into his head. But he wouldn't allow him. He said, listen. If you didn't have one winning year, but you got close, would you call it a losing year? No, it's just steps to get there. We've all heard of the light bulb. You know, you, you didn't fail a thousand times or 999 times. You found 999 ways how to win. And finally, all you need is that one breakthrough. So when you take that attitude to life, business, sports, think about it. Where are you now on your path? Where are you now? Too many times we get stuck in the daily disappointments, the daily setbacks. And we're not taking that long-term view and looking at, it, looking at it as a way to get there. Another step stone in the path to getting to your successful goal. See, this is why you always hear me say it's not that you get through it. It's that you should get from it. See, if you can get from your challenges, from those times when you are struggling, you can learn. You will soon realize it's a clue. The only, only time when you really lose, fail, or get turned around is when you decide to quit. When you decide not to let those challenges be a learning lessons for you. Because every winner, everybody at the pinnacle of their game was once turned around, was once met many times, not just once. They've met challenges all the way through their entire journey. But the difference is they didn't quit. Which takes me back to Mike Tyson's custom motto, his trainer, his long-term trainer and his mentor said to him, the difference between a coward and a hero is that the hero decide to stay in, stay in the game and fight. They're both as scared. I remember when I used to box. Every time... You're thinking about getting in that ring, that walk from the locker room the night before. Forget about that. The night before, you're thinking about, geez, am I going to get knocked out? Am I, how am I going to look in front of the crowd? You know, when they leave, is he more prepared than I was? There's so many thoughts that ran through your head. 
And at one point, you'd rather be in the audience than be in that ring. Because when you think about it, when you walk from the locker room to that ring, all the trash talk is over. All the preparation is over. You step through the ropes into the ring. And then all your corners give you the last bit of advice and they leave. You turn around. There's three people in that ring now. The ref and your opponent and yourself. And when you look at the audience, your family is there, your friends are there, your your teammates are there, your coach, everybody's there. And now it's you and that other person across the ring. Who's ready? Who's more prepared? You can't turn around and run out. I mean, you could, but don't think you'd want to. Just like anything else, when the lights go up, when I used to dance, same thing. It's too late now. You can't remember the routine. What happened? Your mind sometimes goes blank. You just hope you didn't go left when they went right. That happened to me a lot. It just seemed like the slowest time ever. You don't want to blank because you have two and a half minutes or more to be on that stage. And everyone, especially if you're in a group, no one will figure you out if you're a solo. But when you're in a group, you must remember every choreography because it's in sync. So anything can cause you to turn tail and run. But you're going to have those times when you do trip, when you do fall, when you meet challenges, when it seems daunting. But when you look at the big picture, look at your entire career, look at your entire path, your entire time that you've been training, the day you started, let's take my bodybuilders and my fitness people. You look at Ronnie Coleman, eight-time Mr. Olympia. Before he won one, he had challenges. He couldn't break through. There was opponents ahead of him who just kept on. He kept, he kept being turned away. But once, once he won, he kept winning. Jay Cutler, next guy I worked with, four-time Mr. Olympia, lost after two, then re, reclaimed his title and won two more. He kept getting turned away from Ronnie Coleman. Would you call his season a losing season? So here's a guy. Let's take Jay. Four-time Mr. Olympia. Would you call him a losing season when he lost that in the middle? He's now one of the legends. One of the favorites. And he, oh, by the way, he only won four. Poor guy. All right? The only one four. So a losing career. Come on, he didn't win eight, right? No, he's still a legend. So when you're look when this reporter asked that question, was it a losing season? Do you look at it as a losing season? Are you kidding me? The man went to the championships. You're in the audience, he's on the stage. Is a losing season. And guess what? There's more seasons if he's blessed. There's more seasons coming. He can't focus on this is how people get into that attitude and get stuck in the year they lost and they can never come back and win again because you, you need to have that winning attitude. Don't get through a challenge, get from a challenge. What did you learn when you met your challenge? See, if you sat and only focused on the loss, never seeing anything that you learned, how to improve next time, what did you do, what could you do better? You would definitely have a losing season, a losing career, a losing year. You will definitely, most definitely you will have a, if you only look at what went wrong. But if you switched it to the winner's mindset, how, what, what went right? Say in the bodybuilding and fitness space again, did I put on an extra few pounds? Did I level up? Did I get fourth place instead of t bottom 15 or 10th or did I level up my position? Did it, what did the judges feedback from last year? What could I improve on? It's a marathon, not a sprint. So my friends, don't get stuck in the losing mindset or let anyone else suggest that you have in a losing season because they're only looking at, you know, macro or micro look at your career or your experience. They're not looking at the big picture. 
Maybe you were overweight when you're in high school, and now look at you. You may not be placing, but look where you've come. You're actually in the game, in the arena. So develop a winning mindset, winning attitude that you need to persevere because you need it. You're going to meet losses. You're going to meet challenges. And that winning attitude will take you through. So think about that in your, whether you're in sports, business, or in your life. Think about that for a minute. Have you been stuck in a one experience, two experience out of, and you've had many wins, but you, you haven't had a chance to look at them. And I want you to stack the wins, and that's how you're going to get through. All right. If you know somebody who's stuck in a one momentary time of negative challenge, maybe they need to hear this. Develop the winning attitude. Stack your wins and build on it from there. Because I'm absolutely certain the losses are less than the wins. All right. Until next time, my friends. Like, subscribe, share, switch, flip the script, get that winning attitude, and let's go get it. We got unfinished business. Let's go do this. All right. Peace.